Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I'm your friendly neighborhood star man. <clears throat> time to revisit a game I have not touched in a long, long time, and that is Fallout 76. The reason I decided to put together this video <clears throat> is this revisit of Fallout 76, because October 20 in, in the Fallout universe, October 23rd, 2077, is the day the bombs dropped that totally changed the world forever. <clears throat> and the, and also, in reality, October twenty third celebrates twenty five years of the Fallout of the Fallout franchise. Two thousand twenty two marks will mark the twenty fifth year anniversary. And just thought I'd make a little bit of a video to 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 revisit to share with you guys my revisit to this game. And it's been forever, and I've noticed a bunch of changes has has been made. The different different things featured, and <clears throat> I don't know where to begin. But let me go ahead and show you guys my my character. And as you notice, there's my character right here. And <clears throat> now in the past, you know, we used to have to worry about hunger and thirst. But now instead now the hunger and thirst only gives us debuffs. If you if we're running thirsty and hungry, if we're running thirst thirsty or hungry, we just get debuffs. And then we get and then we get buffs if we stay well fed. And I like how we can cook stuff and everything. And then I just don't like having a budget limit. I, and I just wish to extend the storage higher than 1200 because, you know, we go out and get a lot of stuff to build for our camp. And then we have, and it feels like we have a limited space. <clears throat> and we have a limited space in, to put stuff in. And then, you know, I just like the, right now I just started short and simple. I work over here, everything. And and then and all the cool stuff, you know, the the stuff that you normally see in Fallout 4, you have to find the plans for them in order to unlock in order to unlock them. <clears throat> but yeah, there's but there but that's those are not the those are not the changes I was talking about. Now, oh, hang on a second. Let me go ahead and do this quest. Yep. The and here's what we <clears throat> here's what's also here's what I've noticed something different. Now, as soon as we leave the vault, we are immediately given we are given for we are given a ten millimeter pistol and a combat knife. We are given a combat knife and a ten millimeter pistol on our way out, as well as a small, as well as you know, as well as a small standard backpack. We get a small standard backpack, and and as we as some, right as we exited the vault seventy six, <clears throat> that's something I don't I didn't expect to, I didn't expect that I'm like wow that's new. Because you know, normally in every Fallout game, as we leave the vault, you know, we are we all we just have a ten millimeter pistol. We have a ten millimeter pistol, and and it's good amount and a good size amount of ammunition. <clears throat> and as soon as I am about to talk some more, I get attacked by a bunch of mole rats. Man, too bad I don't have a stick, I w so I could beat a bunch of mole rats in the face with a stick. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yep, and I do see that enemies level up with you. As you can, as you level up, they level up with you with a, a with a cap of fifty, level fifty, I think. <clears throat> and then as you go to this, depending on the region you're in, and then the, they'll get even higher as you go to the higher level regions around the map. The map is so big, and Fallout seventy six is online, online Fallout four. Like you know, you got Elder Scrolls online, and then this is like Fallout online. This is what my, in my opinion. So now with it, it's been 25 years since the Fallout franchise ever began, and and I wanted, I decided, I'm like, hmm, since it's an anniversary celebration, you know, like, I feel like I wanted to make a video to share my Fallout experience, and <clears throat> and trying to think of where to begin. <clears throat> well, and that's when I came up with an idea. Well, I might as well share with you guys a little story about how I how I became how I became drawn into the Fallout franchise. How I how did I get how did I get into the Fallout franchise? And yep, it, it all started a long time ago during my early days of streaming. In my early days of streaming, <clears throat> and and I just didn't I had no knowledge about Fallout or anything and and I began to notice that, you know, Fallout was in and like I started with watching Skyrim Skyrim and seeing seeing some of the other people I know playing Skyrim and then seeing Fallout and I'm starting to notice the similarities with Skyrim and because then I learned it was made from the same developers. 
But then there was a peculiar. There, then there was a. There was then there was a stream. Uh, some streams I've watched from this person I've I've known I've known a long time ago. Goes by the name of Madeline Bell. I was watching her streams a long time ago. You know, fl flank Fallout, and and I've seen that so many things that, that that was put together, and I'm like, wow, you can build stuff there, and. I began so drawn in to being to building things, building stuff, and and I'm like it, it was really drawing me in. I was starting to show interest in the game, and I began liking it. And I started learn and I started getting into the Fallout franchise, and and that's when I also and also what also got me stuck with the quote, going, "I just want to trade a few things. <laughs> I just want to trade a few things," and that's just been something that got stuck to me. <clears throat> And I've I've been wanting to play the Fallout games, and but I I haven't had my PlayStation Four just yet because this was before placed my PlayStation Four, and back when I was back when I was playing on the Xbox 360, and and that's when I decided to get the my very first Fallout game, and that was Fallout New Vegas. Fallout v Fallout New Vegas was my is my very first Fallout game I've ever played. <clears throat> and it was completely different, but I began to enjoy the game and and starting to learn to understand that you know in learning the differences between the cur the current gener the current generation and the previous generation. Yeah, in Fallout Fall Fallout New Vegas, you know I played that for a while. I've streamed it in the past in my early days of back when back in my Xbox 360 days. <laughs> like I said, this was way before my PlayStation. <clears throat> And then November 2018, I finally get my first, my get, I finally get my PS4, my very own PS4, <clears throat> and I've been one, and I've been, which I've been waiting for a long time, and and it finally happened. And then that's when, and then Black Friday came, and I noticed that the Game of the Year edition for Fallout 4 was on sale, and I'm like, yes, and I had the money, I had the money to make that, to buy that, and that's when I decided to make that purchase. Because I have been waiting so long to finally get myself started on Fallout 4, and I really began to enjoy it. And <clears throat> and since then, Fallout 4 has just became my true happy place. It's been my happy place, and I've played it a lot, and I definitely love the role playing. I definitely love building things around, and and then like to be more decorative, being decorative around my you know the the settlements. It it really. It really did <clears throat> bring out the relax and chill vibes, and I felt so at peace. I felt at peace with the, with with myself playing the game. I must admit, and it kind of it kind of took me away from being a soul streamer for quite some time. But that's when I but not until I got Dark Souls three. But no, no. Let me say, well, no way. I did get Dark Souls three when I got first got, first got my PlayStation four. <laughs> I, I did get Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, and I haven't strayed away from that. No, this is when I got Fallout 4. Then I began to stray away from the Souls games, which were really my true roots. But I felt at peace. With, I felt at peace, you know. I felt happy. I felt happy being at peace with myself, you know, doing all the building. And, <clears throat> and I even shared... And I even shared things I went through. Even even shared what what I've been going through in my in my life and and all my all the emotional stuff I've gone through. I've shared my story during 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 a stream when I was when I titled it "Storming the Gates of Hell." It's when I it's when I made my first trip to the glowing sea. Yet the stream I made was called "Storming the Gates of Hell," and and I just discussed you know my my the the, every, the my story of what I went through. You know the my my battle with depression and and all sorts of, and all sorts of things. My battle with depression that still goes on, which which I will find a breakthrough. <clears throat> and and I was very happy to see a lot of people visit visit that stream and to and to understand my story. And I just can't thank you guys enough for being for being there for me because it really it really meant a lot to me and it really meant a lot to me that you were there to listen to my story. And I also want to thank Sweetly Savage for being my guest commentator during that stream of Storming the Gates to Hell. So, and I just can't thank her enough for her support. Oh yeah, and I also got to, and how I first learned about, how I first, 
when I first played, learned about Final Fallout 76, when I first started to play it, <clears throat> I first started playing Fallout 76, and this was before Fallout 4. This was before Fallout 4, because I actually got Fallout 76, <clears throat> and I had no knowledge about Fallout 4, and it was all new to me, and I wasn't properly taught right. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't properly taught right, and 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 I just and I just put that game aside. Be and, be and the real reason for that, when I when I realized, is that I wasn't I wasn't taught right. I wasn't taught properly, because all all people did was just give me gifts and build stuff for me. And and in my opinion, that's not how you teach somebody new to the game. That does that that's not how that's not the right way to teach somebody who's new to the game. Because the way I teach somebody new is, you know, I make I make them do the work, you know, like and I I say, I say, you know, let's use uh, my, let's use my sister from another, <laughs> for as an example, you know, I want you to build, I want you to build a crafting station, and you're gonna put it right over here, and then just gonna go to this, that, and these, and those, and all right, good, and then, and for and then I just wait for confirmation, and then you just and then just place it there and and then boom and and my my and my sister was able to my sister was able to place it out place it there where as as I instructed <clears throat> that and that's how I properly and that's how I properly teach somebody that's how that's that's how you teach somebody who's new to the game how to play it and then that's when I went to Fallout then that's when I got Fallout 4 the game of the year edition when it was on sale on Black Friday and and that's what really taught me how to how to play how to how Fallout 4 works, and then once I got back into Fallout 76, all the knowledge I've gained from playing Fallout 4 paid off, and I was able to just easily go play this game a lot. And but a lot of people didn't like it because I was expecting like NPCs or something. But but what but one year after Fallout 76 came out, they they finally decided to add NPCs into the game. <clears throat> and tried they tried their best to just make the game enjoyable. They tried their they did their best to try to make the game enjoyable. Bethesda did what did everything to try and at least make it enjoyable for on and to make it online multiplayer. They've introduced and they introduced the Wastelanders when they added NPCs. And one year one year after that, then a lot lots of new quests and I was starting to I was starting to slowly started enjoying it again and then they introduced you know challenges daily challenges score rewards that's yeah 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 grinding for rewards and i was drawn into that to try and get and get all the get all the unlock all the rewards and it was really starting to get the enjoyment of that again and <clears throat> but then at the, but then at some point i just completely i just completely stopped and because with other games i've been playing with other games I've been playing, you know, I just never got back into it. I never got back into into 76 until a couple of years later. And I'll never forget the moment that I one of my best experiences in Fallout 76 was launching a nuke all by myself. <laughs> and I feel so proud of myself for achieving that. <laughs> I can't believe I launched, I launched a nuke all by myself, went through this missile silo <laughs> obstacles they had to offer, but I was able to pull it off, and I'll never forget that moment. It was my best experience ever in Fallout 76. Once I learned that my sister from another was it started getting back into 76, and I just I was thinking, I was thinking, I haven't touched this game in a long time, so it wouldn't hurt to get back into the game. And that's when that's when I decided I mean, I'm like I'm just gonna start over because I did have another character that's currently like level 200 something. It's base it's my wasteland cowboy. My wasteland cowboy that I like, you know, because I'm from Texas and I and then definitely like to be the cowboy of the uh, of the wastelands. So, but I'm like, I might as well just start fresh and might as well start off fresh and just make a brand new character to start a new adventure, just for the fun of it. And that's why you see this profile right now. This my latest my latest char character. <clears throat> yeah, and and I, I noticed a bunch of different changes. And and now look at this. Now you have the option. <sighs> Excuse. Hold on. This one's being rude. Uh, I'm using I'm using an assaultron head for a for a gun, 
No, 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 I didn't want that. <laughs> I'm using an Assaultron head for a weapon. An Assaultron head for a weapon. <laughs> but it's but at this part, you know, but it's fun. Alright. <clears throat> As I was saying, now. Here's what this is one of the new features they added recent from cause, yeah, because it's been quite a while. Now you can just go to nearby corpses and you can see what what you can loot from. This is all from the corpses nearby. Instead of having to go around and each corpse to try and loot, because some of them are going to be hard to find, so they introduced the op the function to go to the look all, look at the loot that all the nearby corpses have to have dropped. And yes, and, and I'm like, hmm, I like I'm starting to like that function, and it made it a lot easier for me. It made it a lot easier for me, so that that way I can look I can loot which which ones that. I definitely need right now. Which items I can loot right now. <clears throat> and you know, you still got, you know, the teams and everything. But um and I really began to enjoy it again and and all these the relaxed and chill vibes really started coming back to me. So yeah, there's my story to you guys that you know Fallout has done a great uh, the Fallout franchise has done a great impact for me and not just in my gaming but as a person in general. It really just, I really began to feel at peace with, and Fallout 4 was basically the best Fallout game I've ever played. <laughs> and, and, and it's it's what really made, me, made it called my happy place. Because I know, you know, because one thing I don't like about 76, well, a few things, but I cannot name them all. But one thing for sure is that whenever you load in, you find out that your camp cannot be placed and forcing you to go for and forcing you to go move your camp but for free at the instead of the cost of caps instead of the cost of caps so but and then because another player is occupying your camp spot and, and forcing you having to server hop which is wasting your time going through loading screens that's one that's one of the things i don't like that's one of the things i don't like but but, uh, but overall i it's starting to be an enjoyable game, and even though it's not really the best, even though it's been, even though it's been, it's already existed for a few years now, but still not the still not the best games. But it's enjoyable, in my opinion, it's enjoyable. Hmm, I definitely could see myself playing this game, and it definitely. It's, um, and besides, I'll always be a Souls game, a Souls gamer. I will always be a Dark Souls gamer. And that's why part that's why part of my mixture of being a streamer is that I decided to become a soul, a, a, what I would call quote unquote soul survivor, a soul survivor, soul like Dark Souls, souls as in Dark Souls, soul survivor type. That's that's what the plan is. That's what I plan to. That's what I decide to do because I'll be streaming Dark Souls games, and. I'll be streaming Dark Souls games and other and games that bring survival and survival games, you know, like Ark, Conan Exiles, and it's not just survival games in general. It's about it's survival games, not not just survival games. It's games that basically, you know, you open world and giving you the ability to craft craft some gear, consumables, etc. That thing, games games that feed, that have those kind of features. Are part of my survival kind of category in my books, you know, and game and like like the the Fallout the Fallout games, Skyrim, those I can those are part of the, my survival and along with the Souls games. And so yeah, this is what I like to do, and and this is where my true passion is going to be lying. It's going to be it's, not I'm trying to get my works together because you know. And I never did prepare a script to share my speech on this because it's just basically straight raw. It's just straight raw words coming from my mouth. Just words straight from my mouth. It's nothing scripted. So that's why, you know, I'm having trouble trying to get my words together and get my thoughts in. But yeah, this is this is exactly, you know, how I feel and and how how the fallout how fallout how the Fallout franchise really made an impact for me, and so 25 years, 25 years, this game is the, the Fallout games have exi the Fallout franchise have existed, and I'll still continue to be playing the Fallout, and if they ever do make a Fallout 5 and and have the same kind of features, 
have a similar features of Fallout 4, then count me in. I'll be in. I'll be definitely be interested. If it can, if it can make it, a, if it can be another happy place, a second, another happy place like Fallout 4, then oh yeah, that's something I will go for. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. But for now, I'll just get, I'll just enjoy my time playing Fallout 4 and 76. If I ever get an opportunity to play Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, well, if assuming if I can get myself a better PC, a gaming PC or or a gaming laptop at least, then we'll I'll, we'll see we'll see where it goes from there. So, anyways, you know, that is all I got to share for for this particular video as as I revisit Fallout 76 and giving you guys a little walk and talk and share you guys my Fallout experience. And one last thing. Just, I just want to say thank you to this person named Madeline Bell. If you're out there, if you're out there, just want you. To, I just want to say thank you because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have gotten into the Fallout franchise. I wouldn't have gotten into the Fallout games at all, and I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for you. So thank you, thank you, Madeline Bell, for for that. All right, that's all the time I got, and. Thank you guys so much for your support, everybody, and I really do appreciate you all. If you're not, if you are new to the channel, don't forget hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to stream up, to stay up to date on all my latest activities. You can also follow me on Twitter at Starman715, and you can also follow me on Instagram. The it's in the, the links are in the description below. My Instagram and Twitter are in the description box below. Go ahead and you can follow me on those social medias. I follow all gamers back. And if you'd like to come and chat with me while I play some games, come over to my Twitch channel where I stream just about up to three days a week. I have a merch shop over at my Galaxy Hound website. The link is in the description box below if you'd like to get your hands on some Starman apparel. I would definitely love to see you guys fly the flag of, and being part of the Starman fam. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Remember, remember people, smile chat. <laughs>